Alright ladies and gentlemen, practice is over, qualifying is over, it's time to go racing. Avery Walker and Harry Volsmeer have the front row, McMullen McCready and Adam Barker on the second row, Yuho and Mike Marshall on the third, Alan Posky and Ronnie Wimberly on the fourth row, Ronnie had no practice and no qualifying. I did see him start to pull out right before the end of qualifying. Just wasn't able to get out there and get uh, any time in. While the drivers are topping off all fuel and getting to the grid, take a moment, hit the snack bar, get some food, get some drink, and while you're standing in line, please hit that share button. Don't forget to drop into the comments and say happy birthday to Angie. Don't forget to hit the like button, the share button, the follow button. And if you have a favorite driver in the field, as always, make sure you let us know who you are cheering for here today. Pace car is rolling. A lot of drivers really surprised to find this one on the uh, GT3 schedule. As, uh, as we've talked about before, these guys run the VRS schedule, so... Whatever VRS GT3 series is at, they go to it, and this week they were here. Out of the final turn, toward the start-finish line, they get ready. Avery fires. Green flag is in the air. They're down and away. Harry was fastest in practice. Avery laid down a very fast lap in qualifying. This ought to get interesting. And expect to take a few laps with different drivers today because most of these drivers had never seen the track before today. So we have not seen the track before today. We're going to keep a close eye on the action and take a few laps in traffic just to see what it's like. Avery Walker still holding off Harry up front, Adam Barker in third, McCready in fourth, Mike Marshall in fifth. Note that we're going to limit how much time we spend talking about Adam today, just as a precaution because every time I say something positive, something goes wrong. Every time we try and ride in the car with Adam, something goes wrong, and I just don't want to curse him anymore. Allen back in 7th, Ronnie in 8th, no idea how much time Ronnie, oh, Allen's wide! On the final turn, Allen goes wide, Ronnie slips by, remember Ronnie, no practice, no qualifying, we don't even know how much time he has spent on the track. That could definitely come into play here. Avery Walker currently at the front. Quite a, uh, a battle was forming back here, but it looks like they kind of separated out for the moment. Yuho, Mike Marshall in sixth, Yuho in fifth, McCready in fourth. McCready starting to gain just a little bit on Adam Barker. Marshall losing uh, touch with the leaders for the moment. Hey, good morning, Zach. I thought you were going to be in the race. 
and tune in uh, tonight to continue the birthday celebrations as well. I found out a few moments ago uh, there might be a few surprises in that race too. Let's take a lap. Our first lap here in car in Euros Mercedes down the front stretch. Across the start finish line into turns one and two. A little bit of a chicane here. And remember, the drivers really a lot of concern about the uh, rumble strips, the bumps, everything here. All the drivers saying they had to be very careful. They get a lot of damage with very little touch on some of these curbings. Yuho all over the back bumper of McCready. You hear him out of the throttle a lot. This flat track, no banking to use to help with the turns. Plus, on flat tracks, as is so common, the back end tries to slide out on you on corner exit every single time. Yuho just turned the fastest lap of the race so far. Kind of explains... Uh, him all over the back bumper of McMullet here. The long straightaways definitely benefit the Mercedes. Across the start finish line, Yuho did that lap in 1 minute 18.3. Avery Walker just set the fastest lap now. He did a 117.71. That was not the fastest lap we have seen this morning. Ronnie Wimberly is on pit road and Allen had a crash. That was Allen going wide. We saw that a few moments ago. Just gets a little loose mid-corner. Avery Walker out front. Harry Volsmere will be watching closely. As the run goes on, he was extremely fast in practice. And let's take a quick look here. Track temperature and air temperature pretty much the same as what we saw in practice. So look for that Ferrari to come alive here in a few moments. Avery, meanwhile, a 2.3 second lead over Harry. Adam back in third, 2.1 seconds back. Yuho now up into fourth. He got by McCready a moment ago. Let's see what happened. He had been working on this for a couple of laps. And it looks like McCready went wide. I think he might have just let him by there. The smaller field this morning. Remember, Giancarlo not in the field. The points leader not here. Definitely an opportunity for some of the drivers to close up the points battle this morning. Adam Barker came into the morning 40 points behind Giancarlo. Every position is going to help him this morning. Adam back in third, Yuho closing in in fourth. Wow, Yuho a little bit wide there. A couple of the drivers were actually testing during practice just to see where the track limits were so they could avoid penalties but push the car to the limit. You have to wonder about the uh, wisdom of pushing out all the way out into the dirt or the grass in some of these turns. 
Doesn't seem to be bothering Yuho at all. McCready back in fifth. Mike Marshall in sixth. Ronnie Wimberly has gone to pit road. Let's see if we can see what happened to Ronnie. No, he just took it into pit road. No idea what happened with Ronnie, but uh, he is currently on pit road. And it looks like he has his audio muted, so we can't even ask him. That right there, where Avery just crossed, has been a, a tough section of the track there. Those big turtles right through there. Several drivers hitting those in practice, and it destroys the car. Some of these inside... Uh, Curbings also are very destructive of the car. Drivers having to be exceedingly careful. Normally we'd see a lot of these guys leaning heavily. There you see Yuho getting on them. Bit surprised by that, but uh, guys, yeah, he, there he is hitting them again. Heard a lot of guys saying, though, that these... Uh, these Those inside of those corners, those curbings are definitely causing some problems this morning. Although it does look like a few of the drivers have something figured out for them. Allen looked like he was about to come back off pit road a moment ago. He is still there. Avery's lead now three and a half seconds over Harry. Adam Barker back in third. Yuho in fourth. McCready in fifth. The smaller field size is definitely going to help the point situation for a lot of these drivers. Mike Doling, who is third in points, is not here. Avery Walker, fourth in points, 28 points behind. He'll have an opportunity to close that gap massively. If he pulls off the win in race one, we could see him move into third in points. McCready comes in fifth in points, currently running fifth, has an opportunity here as well. Yuho comes in sixth, just 12 points behind McCready. He could pick up some points on him as well. But the big one with Giancarlo being out, Actually, with two of the top three drivers out today, a lot of drivers going to be shooting for every single point they can get here. Interesting note here. Eight cars in the field this morning. Obviously, a lot smaller field than what we're used to. A lot smaller than the 20 plus we're usually seeing. But with eight cars in the field and... If Ronnie Wimberly comes out and gets a couple of laps in, or if he does not, as they run now, Allen would start race number two on the pole. Ronnie Wimberly just needs to run about two and a half, three laps, and he would start race number two on the pole. Hey, good morning, Kevin. Oh, Harry Volsmeer had an incident coming through the final turn a moment ago. Let's hit the rewind here. Looked like that Ferrari might have gotten a little bit loose as he came off the curbing. Yeah, he hit that curbing just a little too hard. Yuho hits it a little too hard as well, but manages to hold on that car that Mercedes a bit longer than the Ferrari. Doesn't seem to have bothered uh, Harry too terribly much, though. Justin, I can tell you that they do still have... Oh! Harry Volsmeer wide down the front straightaway. And as we mentioned earlier, those turtles definitely tear up the car. We'll see if Harry has any further issues here. 
There he was the fastest in practice, but obviously struggling in race one. He does have some left front damage. As I was mentioning, Justin, they have some spots open for Sunday mornings, and I know they would welcome you, buddy. Avery really pushing the limits there <laughs> coming through the corner. But as we mentioned, a lot of drivers were testing the track limits this morning. I know that uh, Avery got 45 minutes, I think he said roughly 45 minutes of practice in before before the session opened, then the 20 minutes of practice and 20 minutes of qualifying. So he might be one of the drivers with the most practice in here. McCready had not ever hit this track until the session opened this morning. Several other of the drivers saying the same thing. Avery now has a five second lead over Harry. Harry now has Adam Barker as close back up to the back bumper as has Yuho. And it looked like Allen may have rolled off of Pitt Road and then towed back. I'm not sure what happened there, but Mike Marshall had an incident a moment ago, went off track. Let's see how badly the lone Porsche left in the field now that Allen is, oh, just a bit outside. Great job holding on to the car, though. And here we go. That's the battle for second place. Adam Barker tries to make the pass to the outside. Can't get there yet. Now, Yuho is right there. And this race for a second just heated up. Here goes Adam shooting down to the inside. Can't get there. Oh, Yuho almost gets the back bumper. Uh, Yuho is literally pushing Adam down the straight. He gets the nose in. Adam beats him through. Harry has got to love what he's seeing in his mirror at the moment. With those two battling it out, he can pull back away. But you have to wonder, on this flat track, when downforce so important with that left front damage, it is obviously having an impact in the turns. Just here to entertain, Jared. Yeah, Justin, remind me later. I'll shoot you the info, buddy. This battle for second really heating up. And just watching this, remembering the second race from last weekend, that race was crazy, and it was a much bigger field. Even with this smaller field, it is a smaller track. And race number two, once they invert the field, things could get very exciting. Worth noting, the last time we were on a track this short, Hello Kitty went to Victory Lane last season and at the newest track. Looks like the sun may be going down here in Australia, so things could heat up. Hey, will do, Richie. I can do that as well, Jared. I know they'd love to have you guys and had Jared Kellens run a few races with them. Yuho starting to look down to the inside, can't get there yet. We did see him pushing Adam, literally pushing him down the straightaway a couple of laps ago.
Avery out front as this battle for second goes on. He's extended his lead to three seconds. The invert for race two will make things very interesting. As of right now, it looks like Allen would be starting on the pole for race two. Mike Marshall would start second and McCready in third. Avery's lead, eight seconds. You got to give it to Harry. That heavy left front damage, he is still holding on to second place. But how much longer with Adam Barker and Yuho both breathing down his neck, how much longer can he hold them? A lot of drivers saying this is uh, doesn't seem like a great GT3 track, but man, they are putting on a great show on it. Oh, Adam pushed a little too hard. You all got to the inside. And now going into the turn one, you on the outside. Can he hold him off? Solidly hit. Adam Bart into the tire wall. I thought Adam had saved it. He gets rolling again, but now he has some left front, heavy left front damage. Adam having a great run here today, but as we've seen in the past, he's got 11 minutes left. He only drops back to fifth place. We've seen Adam recover from much, much worse in much, much less time. Let's watch that again from a different angle. They go side by side through the turn. Both of them do a great job holding it. Wait a minute. I think we may have just seen. Let's see if we can get the... Let's watch the chopper cam. I think some net code at play there. They did touch on the front straightaway. Yeah, they were about a foot apart. Great side-by-side -side racing. Those two drivers used to racing side-by-side -side with each other. And Adam Barker's going to pit road. He is going to go in for repairs. Let's take a look at Yuho's car. A little bit of left front damage there as well. Yuo definitely still pushing the car as hard as he can, trying to run down Harry Volsmeer. Adam Barker has repaired back out of pit road, but now sixth place. However, that does give him the advantage in race number two. He'll start on the front row. That has been the exciting thing about them switching to this doubleheader format last season was these guys have an opportunity to come back from a mistake or come back from any issues. And whoever wins race number one has to fight through some heavy traffic. Although, I would say Avery's probably got a pretty good chance here of fighting through the traffic. He has been extremely fast all morning. Harry gets back out here with a fresh race car fully repaired. Could get very interesting as well as those two try and fight their way back forward. But Adam Barker will have an opportunity in race two to pull away early on. Mike Marshall is now up into fifth place. McCready up to fourth. Yuho now in third, challenging Harry Volsmere. Adam Barker currently 11 seconds behind uh, Marshall, but he is gaining on him.
Looked like uh, it looked like it was getting dark earlier. Looks like it was just some heavy cloud cover here in Australia. Track temperature still holding at 83 degrees. It'll be interesting once iRacing implements rain. I guarantee you we're going to see some uh, rain in these GT3 races. And I guarantee you that is going to make things very, very interesting. Especially on a track like this that is so flat. Through the horseshoe and saw a lot of drivers having to really e be easy through there. The track being as flat and the way that, that cor those corners are set up makes it very, very easy to push the car a little too hard and lose the back end. So drivers having to be extra cautious through there. That is the part of the track though that Harry in the Ferrari does have the advantage over UO in the uh, Mercedes. Obviously, as you saw there, the Ferrari much better off the corner. The Ferrari much better overall in the corner than the Mercedes. But when UO's behind the wheel of Mercedes, whoa! -ho -ho, other than getting a little bit loose off the turn, he is extremely fast. Barney the Flagman just enjoying the show. They, uh, Justin, they run open setups and they have a great group of guys that works together on the setups. I'll drop you, uh, I'll, when I send out a message for you three, I'll make sure to give you a little more info. Avery's lead now, you see, has grown dramatically on the map. He's got a full straightaway here. Now almost 12 seconds over Harry Volsmere. Yuho still right there with Harry. McCready now six and a quarter seconds back in fourth. Mike Marshall currently running in fifth. And Adam Barker in sixth. My pleasure, Richie. And here's an interesting note. Uh, oh! Yuho wickedly wide there. Interesting note for you, Justin. That uh, Mercedes definitely not the best car on some of these tighter tracks, but uh, Yuho had driven the Porsche for countless seasons, switched, uh, was actually going to switch over to the BMW, came to a week where he did not have a lot of time to practice so he went to his old standby the Mercedes and we have not seen him in anything else since then a couple of different drivers we've seen Matt Bear in a Mercedes and oh you all over the back end of that Ferrari I think the most we you know, look into the inside I think the most Mercedes we've seen in a race this season has been two. Matt Bear actually switched to the BMW this season, but a couple other drivers on a couple of those tracks that that extra Mercedes power comes into play. You see a couple of them come out for those races. As we've seen this season, two seasons ago, the Porsche was the dominant car. Last season, it was kind of a balance between the BMW and the Audi, but this season really has been uh, kind of a crapshoot. And a different car almost every single week. Yuho looks wide. Harry's got to hold him off for another three minutes, probably another three laps. I don't know if he can. Yuho is definitely sending it here. Yuho looking for any opportunity. You know he has been studying closely. Harry's line through here, and it looks like Ronnie Wimberly did come back out on track. 
for a single lap. If he gets one more lap, he'll start race number two on the pole. Yuho drops down to the inside. Can he get the nose in coming through this section? He doesn't get there yet. Harry, you can tell, is just sending it deeper into every corner than we've seen all race, even with that front front end damage. Both drivers actually now have le uh, left front damage here. Harry continues to hold him on. Oh, Harry! These guys definitely pushing for everything they've got. Avery coming around, depending on when he hits the start finish line. Let's hop in the car. And see if he gets the white flag this time as he comes out of that final turn. Could not tell if Barney was waving the flag there or not. I do believe we'll see one more lap after this one. Meanwhile, this battle for second continues. Yuho is right there, just has not been able... Oh, Yuho goes wide! Harry has a moment to breathe here. Harry and Yuho continuing to battle it out. Harry obviously uh, pushing harder as well, but got a chance for it to breathe. And Avery Walker is coming out of the final turn. He will take the checkered flag and flashes his lights for the fan. Who's going to come home second? What happened to Harry? Is Harry out of fuel? Harry is out of fuel. Yuho's going to come home in second. McCready comes home in third. What a change there at the end. Harry... Somehow got the car across the start finish line, but I'm not sure what happened on that last lap. It looked like he ran out of fuel, but now he is rolling again. We'll have to find out what happened here in just a moment. What a change. Let's start with some interviews. Let's get to our top three first. Let's start with third place, Eric McCready. Hey, Eric, it's Doug. You got me? Yeah, what's up, Doug? Hey, you ran a pretty consistent lap, managed to uh, hold on to fourth place for most of the race, but pull off uh, third there on the last lap. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened to Harry. He was just stopped on that straight. I couldn't answer that question either. We thought he ran out of fuel, but then he started rolling again, so who knows? Did he, where did he end up? Did he happen to end up in seventh? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, fourth. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he just moved himself up the grid a couple positions uh, for the next race. <laughs> Apparently so. Uh, that might have been his strategy, but while he was having quite a race with you, but in the end, it benefits you. You got a third place finish here and pick up a lot of points this morning. I like points. Well, man, that was one heck of a race. Great, consistent uh, lap times. Are you going to be able to advance your position any further in race two? Uh, I, I, my answer remains the same. Only if everybody else crashes. <laughs> I think I think it's going to be interesting watching Avery uh, start in the back. I mean, he's like a second faster than everybody else, so he's got a lot of work to do. 
Definitely does. It will be interesting watching you guys make some passes out there. Uh, the, the plan is to uh, not pass. Just be as wide as possible. I <laughs> got gotcha. you. All right. Good luck in race two, buddy. Yeah, thanks, Doug. All right. Yuho comes home in second. Let's see if we can get a word with him. Hey, Yuho, it's Doug. You got me? Oh, hey. Yeah, I do. <laughs> good day. All right, good morning. Hey, I have to ask, man, you were giving, uh, you were definitely giving Harry a run for his money there. I'm not sure what happened. We haven't talked to him yet, but uh, had he not uh, stopped on the last lap, could you have gotten around him? No. No, I couldn't. So I uh, tr was trying to get some new lines or, or you know, trying to make him make a mistake, but I just can't figure out how to pass on this track. <laughs> <laughs> so. So no, I could. I don't know what happened. He slowed down already in the middle of the corner, and then really kind of slowed down on the on the straight. So I nearly actually smashed him. So I don't know what happened really. Well, you got to be happy with a second place finish here. And but starting in the back, obviously you struggled with passing. Uh, are you going to be able to make your way forward? I'm pretty sure we are going to have a group hug on the turn tree. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> A group hug. I like that. Yeah. I will be using that going forward. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations on second. Good luck in this one. Okay, thanks. All right, let's see if we can get a hold of Avery Walker. Hey, Avery, is Doug. You got me? Yep, I got you. All right, so you were untouchable in race one and pulled off uh, an, a crazy win. Um, nobody could even get close to you. In fact, it looked in practice like Harry might be your toughest competition, but he was nowhere close to you either. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm as surprised by that as you are. Um, I knew that if I got a good start, that would be kind of my best opportunity, and then I could hopefully defend on Harry. Uh, and I did get a good start, and then I was just as surprised as you are that I just pulled right away from him. Well, man, it was a great race. You were quite a bit faster than everybody else throughout it. But going into race two, you have to start from the back today. So how are you feeling your chances of getting back up there? Uh, not sure. No one's really raced this before. Um, and having the field inverted and trying to pass everyone is definitely going to be interesting. Uh, my plan is just to take it easy and hopefully people make mistakes and then I go by. And with dolling out and you getting the win, you'll actually pick up another position. Should be top three in points after today. Nice. Well, good luck today, buddy. And uh, hopefully, uh, Yuho's predicting a group hug in turn three. Hopefully, that does not come to pass. But good luck uh, keeping it clean. Yeah, we'll see. Thanks. All right, let's see if we can get a quick word with Harry. Hey, Harry, it's Doug. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Hey, I have to ask, what happened on the last lap? <laughs> it was nothing much. I just didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got stuck talking to me anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Uh, I thought you ran out of fuel there for a moment, but, uh, man, it was a great, great run. Good luck in race number two. Thanks. <laughs> Harry's trying to avoid talking to the broadcaster. <laughs> hey, good morning, Aaron. Thanks, buddy. Race number two, definitely going to be interesting. The field is inverted. Ronnie Wimberly will start up front with Mike Marshall. Adam Barker starts in the second row with Harry Volsmeer. Eric McCready and Yuho have the third row. Avery Walker and Alan Posky rounding out the field. This one will be a bit interesting as well, expecting, as Yuho put it, a group hug in turn three. That'll be fun to watch. Hopefully they can keep it clean. Passing obviously difficult here, so a lot of the drivers probably going to be taking it a little bit easier here. Quick look to see if we've had a, any trim. The 
Track temperature has dropped three degrees. Air temperature still the same. That'll give them a little bit more grip, at least in the early going. Ronnie trying to pass the pace car. Ronnie got exactly four laps in race number one. No practice, no qualifying. Be interesting, to, really interesting to see how the first lap goes for him. But you got to be always cheering for Ronnie to get a win here. Looks like the pace car is in. They go through the final turn. Ronnie controls the restart. Mike Marshall there with them. They are fired. Green flag is in the air. The whole field together on this restart. Adam Barker to the inside for second already. Oh, Ronnie gets a little bump from Mike Marshall and saves it. What a save. Adam Barker now up challenging for the lead. Mike back to third. Harry in fourth. McCready in fifth. And no group hug yet. Although Alan Posky has gone off, has had an incident, as has Avery Walker. Let's see if they were together. Oh, Alan shoots it down into the turn, clips Avery and sends him around. Avery gets going again. Alan uh, kindly waits for him. And it looks like Ronnie had an incident as well. Oh, just overshoots the corner, goes to the outside. Nice drift, Ronnie. Hangs on to it. Gets it back out on track. Now Adam Barker to the lead. Harry Volsmere in second. McCready in third. Yuho in fourth. And Mike Marshall in fifth. Mike Marshall had an off track a moment ago. Mike trying to run down Adam Barker just goes way wide. Pulls it back. Holy cow, it gets interesting there. Starts coming up, gives McCready enough room. Everybody gets by clean. So now it is Adam Barker out front. Harry Volsmere in second. McCready currently in third. Yuho is fourth. Mike Marshall in fifth. Ronnie Wimberly back to six after starting on the pole. Avery Walker in seventh. The fastest car he won by over 12 seconds in race one. Started from seventh, but that lap one incident puts him way back. He is now 10 seconds behind Adam Barker. As fast as he won, as fast as he was in race number one, can he make that gap up? Adam using every bit of the track. Harry in second. McCready in third. Can he hold Yuho off? Yuho came in the second half of the race. It's when he really started picking up some speed. Mike Marshall in uh, fifth place in the Porsche. Obviously has a little bit of damage to the right side of the car. But overall looks like it's okay. I don't think the Conlift Solutions Porsche is going to be slowed down at all. Avery Walker just turned the fastest lap of the race so far. Expect him to continue to beat his own lap here. Adam has had an off track. Coming down through that. Oh, just a little. Oh, he drifts it. Here he gets by. Oh, Adam goes backwards. Huge, huge loss there for Adam after being the fastest on track and being out front in the early going. Now Harry Volsmere to the lead. McCready in second and Yuho in third. Avery Walker back in seventh. 
looking to see if he beats his previous fast lap. He is obviously, due to incidents, closing back up on the leaders. Almost identical lap. Oh, Ronnie's around! Right in front of Avery, Ronnie goes around. What a heartbreak. Was really rooting for Ronnie here this morning. Unfortunately, not to be, but if you have a chance, go to Twitch, check out Quad Racing, and see just how impressive this young man is. Remember, as we've talked about in the past, Ronnie is not driving with a wheel and pedals. He is driving with what is called a quad stick. You can look it up and can do all of his racing, all of his gaming, only using his mouth. Yet he has multiple wins at the Nürburgring, possibly one of the toughest tracks in the world. He is no slouch with that. Harry's lead. Currently starting to shrink as McCready is closing in and Yuho all over the back bumper. We could start seeing some of these passes here. And Avery Walker has gone past Ronnie as we saw and continues to close in. Now 2.3 seconds behind Adam. Adam all over the back bumper of Mike Marshall. As we've talked about in recent weeks when Mike gets up there, he is tough to pass. Adam swings wide, trying to set up, as Yuho said, between the races, it was very tricky to find a, and he had to try a bunch of different lines to find a way around. Alan Posky has crashed. Alan definitely having a rough morning here. Looks like he had gotten loose, got back out on, on track, and then just goes wide goes completely around. Allen really struggling here. A lot of these drivers, as we mentioned, have not uh, even seen the track prior to today. Avery has now caught up to Adam Barker and Mike Marshall. A little smoke there, and it looks like it might It was Allen Oh, Allen drifts it off the track right in front of those three. Harry Volsmere's lead, it continues to shrink. It is down to one second. No, three quarters of a second. McCready is really closing in on Harry. Yuho still all over the back bumper. And now Avery Walker making the move on Adam Barker here. The two Audis go, so oh, Avery tried to get on the gas a little too hard and the car tried to kick out on him. Alan Posky has taken the car to pit road after another incident. Adam down to the inside of Mike Marshall. He opens the door for Avery. Mike Marshall losing two spots, drops back into sixth. Adam Barker now up to fourth and Avery back up into fifth. You know, uh, because of the invert, Avery actually started in seventh, so he did not lose a lot of positions in that uh, lap one incident, but he did lose a lot of time. He was over 10 seconds behind once he got that car going again. He is now closed down and is eight exactly eight seconds behind the leader Adam and Avery starting to make their charge toward the front the next car in their path will be Eric McCready who is now in third Yuho finally gets past let's see how he did it because you heard Yuho mention how tough it is to pass here I think Eric might have just pulled over and let Yuho by. As we saw in race number one, he did the same thing. 
Yuho was faster. That also gives uh, McCready an opportunity, if he can, to watch Yuho's line and draft off of him. Although Yuho already pulling away and starting to run down the leader. Harry had opened up a gap to about one and a half seconds as those two battled. And he is closing it down very quickly. It's now down to one second. Meanwhile, Avery Walker, Adam Barker have closed down to about 4.8 seconds is the gap now to McCready. Yuho only has one win on the season so far. But coming into today, Avery Walker only had one win. He got his second one in race number one. Could Yuho get his second one in race number two? Or can Harry hold them all off this morning? <laughs> all right, so Xander saying he did not race because the track is boring, but he will return next week. It'll be good to see you again, bud. Sounds like next week is going to be a pretty big field with some newcomers in it as well. Ronnie Wimberly currently running in set. Mike Marshall is on pit road. He had gone off track a moment ago and has now come to pit road. Looks like for repairs. Really wide. We saw Yuho pull that one a few laps, or in race number one, rather, and hold on to it. Mike manages to hold on to it. No damage to the car. Have to wonder why Mike is headed to pit road. He's already come back out. I am sure it will, Xander. Yuho closing in on Harry, but not as quickly as we expected. Harry managing to uh, turn some fast laps here himself. McCready cranking it up just a little bit in third. Kind of has to because Adam Barker and Avery Walker are now 3.3 seconds behind and gaining. Avery currently in fifth trying to move back up through the field. You have to wonder, given the speed Avery has here, how far up would he have been if not for that lap one incident with Allen? Currently holding about eight seconds behind the leader. Battle for the lead about to tighten up. Mike Marshall, having gone to pit road, has now caught back up to sixth place, Ronnie Wimberly. Oh, Ronnie cuts the turn just a little bit. We talked in race one about how uh, bad these curbs are and the damage they can cause to the car. Ronnie seems to be okay, at least for the moment. Although it does look like he might have some right front damage. And a little bit of left front damage. He's got a little bit of nose damage. We'll put it that way. Harry currently running in the lead in the Google car. Yuho all over him in second place. McCready currently in third. 
Adam Barker in fourth, Avery Walker in fifth. Ronnie in sixth and seventh place. It, I, Ronnie is hitting those curbs so hard that is causing damage to the front splitter and obviously affecting the nose of that car just a bit. Has not slowed him down in a single bit though. Back up front, Harry has continued to hold Yuho off and hold him at about eight to nine tenths of a second. Yuho gains on him, but as we've seen all morning long, that Ferrari is so much faster off the turns. <laughs> uh, Justin, uh, yeah, I... I don't have a commercial handy, bud. <laughs> Harry Volsmeer. <laughs> Harry Volsmeer in the lead. You in second. McCready in third. Has started to pull away just a little bit from Adam Barker. That gap was down to almost three seconds. McCready has pulled out another second. Now has four seconds. Avery Walker has gone off track. <laughs> See, did he just shoot a corner wide here? Looks like he was not off track. Oh, yeah, he did. Turn three, where everybody expected the group hug on lap one. Avery definitely pushing that car, trying to find a way around Adam Barker here. McCready is loving the battling going on behind him. Can he get two races in a row? Finishing third would definitely help his point situation. Especially with Mike Dolling being out this morning. Ronnie Wimberly, Mike Marshall continuing to battle it out. Let's take a lap in Mike Marshall's Porsche. See, we watched, uh, we rode with Yuho in race number one. Let's see how the Porsche handles. Down through the first two turns. Oh, got a little bit more of the uh, turtles than we expected there. Down through turn three. Ronnie a little squirrely through three. Mike hitting the apex perfectly through there, trying to set up for the next turn. Avery Walker and Adam Barker have crashed. This is huge. Avery all over the back bumper of Adam Barker. Looks down to the inside. Gets the nose in just enough and they both spin. Neither of them lose any positions on track, but they lose a lot of time. They had closed in to about three and a half seconds on McCready. Now Adam Barker, almost 11 seconds behind. McCready currently in third, Yuho in second, Harry Volsmere in third. Harry might actually pull off the win here and then he's gonna have to talk to me. McCready having one of his best runs of the season here today. A third place in race number one, currently running third in race number two. Just over 10 minutes left. He just has to drive consistently. Yuho still has not found a way to get around Harry. And now Harry starting to open the gap up. Adam Barker and Avery Walker will go at it again. Avery back to the back bumper. K 
Can Adam hold him off here for the remaining 10 minutes? Or can Avery find a way around without them getting together? This track, a lot of the drivers said in pre-race that if this track were a meter to a meter and a half wider, it would be about perfect and they would love racing here. But most of them saying the same thing. This track just not big enough for racing GT3s. And there was a concern. Oh, Adam goes wide. Avery shoots the gap. Now they're knocking doors. Adam not giving up easily. Same corner as last time. They both hold on. Here they go. Through the final turn. Now it's a drag race down the front straightaway. Adam slips back in behind, trying to get some momentum. He's going to set up to the inside. Oh, they touch again. Avery goes way off. Adam stops. He's going to let Avery recover his position here. And that is the sportsmanship we see out of this group week in and week out. Avery shooting down to the inside. Now they'll pick back up to speed. Huge shout out to Adam Barker. That is awesome. A couple of seasons ago, when we saw that for the first time, it came as such a shock. It's not something you see very often, but with, <coughs> excuse me, with this particular group, it is consistently, if there is an issue like that, they do the right thing, let the guy back into his position, and you got to give him a huge shout out for the great sportsmanship. Don't forget to tune in tonight. BRR Cup Series starting at 730 Eastern. We'll be live a little before that to talk to some of the drivers. Tonight, they are at the Brickyard. Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This will be a good one. Barker trying to stay with Avery. Avery now 21 seconds behind Eric McCready. Ronnie Wimberly in six. Mike Marshall still battling him in seventh. And these two cars seem fairly equal on track today, the Porsche and the Ferrari. Except for that Ferrari up front of Harry Volsmere who continues to lead here has been dominant in race two. Remember Harry was running um, in second when he pulled over in race one just so he didn't get interviewed. Uo in second. Now one and a half seconds back. He has been unable to get catch back up and get around Harry here. McCready in third. Now four and a half seconds back. Just cruising from here. Avery in fourth. Adam in fifth. Do we see these two go side by side again before this one? is over every time they've been side by side today it has ended in disaster Six minutes, about four more laps to go.
Harry has been consistently a tenth of a second fa a lap faster the last uh, four or five laps than Yuho. Yuho just cannot find the speed he needs to catch up. Mercedes definitely has the power advantage on the straightaway, but just not able to close that gap. The Ferrari obviously beating it through the turns. McCready currently running in third, four and a half seconds back, as not even, a, doesn't even look like he is uh, attempting to close the gap on Yuho at this point, just trying to hold the gap even. White flag is in the air for Harry Volsmeer. Mike Marshall just got past Ronnie Wimberly. It looked like Ronnie might have had an off track. Oh, Ronnie goes wide. We saw him have that same issue on lap one. Same turn. Mike Marshall gets back by. And believe it or not, folks, Avery Walker just turned the fastest lap of the race. And he was... One of only two drivers in race two to break the 118 mark. The other one being Adam Barker. Harry has the lead. Yuho is in second. McCready in third. That looks like how they will finish barring any uh, major catastrophe in the last two corners. Harry is catching. Looks like uh, Ronnie pulls over to let the leaders by. Through the final turn, Harry Volsmeer. Do you believe this is his first win of the season? Harry Volsmeer wins at Winton. Yuho coming home in second. McCready comes home in third. Avery, after winning the first race, will come home in fourth. And Adam Barker will come in fifth. Still picks up some points here today on Giancarlo. And let's see if we can get a word with McCready. Hey, Eric, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, what's up, Doug? Hey, uh, you just kind of third place, you're kind of hangout? Yeah. Yeah, everybody's just giving it to me. <laughs> well, you had a great race. It looked like you had something there for you oh, there for a long time, and it looked like he just came in uh, a little bit better on the long run. Oh yeah, he. I uh, I touched off track. I went wide and one turn. I knew he was gonna take me, and he and Adam ran into a little neck of the previous race, so I just got over. That they did. There was a, a bit of neck code out there today, but man, a, a couple of third place finishes definitely gonna help you in the points here tonight. Hey, oh yeah, but... especially since John Carlo isn't here because he was too cheap to buy the track. Oh, that was not the story I heard. I had heard he um, lost, uh, or they had a fire alarm go off. Yeah, that sounds like the perfect excuse, doesn't it? Yeah, it really, really does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, with him being out, with Doling being out, you guys definitely picking up some extra points here today. And uh, two third place finishes, that's got to be a happy, uh, happy start to the week. Yeah, yeah, my goal was not to crash today, and uh, so far so good, I guess. Well, buddy, congratulations. A great, great finish here today. Thanks, Doug. Let's see if we can get our second place finisher. Hey, you ho, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Doug. Hey, uh, another second place finish. I, You had something for Harry there for a long time, just could not find a way past him. Yeah, Harry was running a really good race today. He went airborne on, I don't know, in the beginning of the laps. Lost a rare window, if I saw correctly, so the car was pretty damaged. And he still managed to kind of uh, run really decent laps. So I didn't have any anything to uh, do better than this. Well, man, so it was... congrats 
for him. But, but but that's obviously you know illegal car. You know missing that rear window, it's too light. So that that was the reason, right? right. I, that's exactly right. Plus that probably gives him an aero advantage because it's pushing the air out of the car directly over the rear spoiler, giving him more downforce to get off. The yeah, corners. putting the cockpit fan. Uh, on full and you get an advantage on the straights. Yeah, that exactly. is exactly what it was. I'll, I'll see if I can get somebody in tech to go inspect this car for you. <laughs> it was yeah, still but... a great day for you, though. A couple of second place finishes. You came from uh, a lot further back and, and had a great run. Yeah, but this is not a GT3 track, you know. It's too narrow. There's no kind of real place that you could dare to dive in and, and start doing the passes without every time jeopardizing the race so it's not nice it definitely wasn't but you did a great job today man congratulations yo thanks doc thanks and let's see if we can talk to our winner hey harry it's doug you got me i got you hey you were too fast this morning to avoid talking to me yeah well if you win it's okay <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Man, uh, it looked all morning long like uh, you were just the fastest car. You were fastest in practice, just didn't get the best start in race number one, but you just dominated that second race. Yeah, that went all right. I think uh, you all was faster at some points, but I was faster in the Kirby uh, part. So it went well. It looked like that Ferrari just could get through the turn so much faster than every other car on track here this morning. Well, I, I tried a few uh, in practice and uh, I couldn't drive the, the Porsche. I uh, was more a, l a lawnmower, but, uh, but, but this one felt all, all right. Well, so it, I took it. Yeah, it definitely looked like you had it all figured out this morning. Congratulations. I believe it's your first win of the season, so huge congrats on that. Yeah, thank you. It was. Well, great job this morning, bud. Congratulations on their first win of the season. Thank you very much. Harry Volsmeer gets his first win of the season here at Winton. Don't forget to tune in tonight, 7.30 Eastern. The BRR Xfinity Series comes to you live from Indianapolis. This one is going to be awesome. Always look forward to the, to the Brickyard and always look forward to uh, seeing what these guys do. These Xfinity cars at the Brickyard, always such a close race. They don't spread out. It becomes a... a Especially turn one, lap number two. Yeah, that one is always exciting. You don't want to miss any of that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Huge shout out to everybody who dropped in. DIFA, happy birthday to Angie, and y'all have a great day.